the candles glitter like you're in a thriller. Heart goes pom pom pom. Gorsi figures they can get so bitter. Show you want to enter, you can slip back. Um, I'm Emma and I've got a 98 Honda Civic Coupe. I've always liked cars when I was little. Um, all my family were more bikes and stuff, but I used to get all the Max Power magazines, all things like that. I guess it just went from there. I have owned a Seat Ibiza. That was my first car. My mom and dad bought me that. It was, I'd like to say it was tastefully modified, but it wasn't, it was awful. Um, and then from there I got my Civic, which was a hatch. So obviously that, that spiralled then, um, I had that for a good few years, um, that got in an accident so I ended up with no car and driving around in a Volkswagen Caddy. Volkswagen life wasn't for me, then went back to Civic. <laughs> One of my good friends said that he knew where there was a Civic Coupe for sale um, and if I offered some money I'd probably sell it. So instead of driving around in a Volkswagen Caddy that I hated, that's what I went for. All I know is that it was sat on a friend's driveway, he had, didn't have time to do it and he fell out with it so that's all I know basically. I am still friends with the guy that I bought it off as well so and he, he absolutely loves it so he's glad it went to me. It was in bits, <laughs> um, there was various parts on it that was absolutely shocking. The gear stick had been cut in half to create a short shifter. Instead of actually buying a short shifter, it had some good Alfred's pedals attached to it. Um, one wind deflector, suspension not attached, so it was co nearly coming through the bonnet. Um, it had got different panels from different cars, all new front end on it. I was going to take the bits off of my hatch that I'd saved, so like my seats, which were the Recaros, we were going to put them into it and straighten any panels and things like that and just, you know, I was just going to paint it up and drive it basically, make it look nice. It was originally Vogue Silver Metallic, so obviously my intention were to paint the panels that weren't silver. Um, they got a few dints and stuff, so we took parts off of my hatch and repaired it and at that point it was we're gonna have to paint the whole car so obviously i just restored it back to how it was painted it all myself prepped it all myself um it, i originally had some rotor grid wheels um from my civic that were painted in the iridescent blue purple so obviously i wanted to carry that through the car um my boyfriend had some av1 race wheels and we just tried them on out of curiosity <laughs> and they sit on it far better than the rotors did. They were a lot wider, a lot better. So he kindly gifted them me and I painted in my colour so that I made sure that I'd got my colour through there. It also had, instead of having the original D16 engine in it, somebody had taken that out and put a D14 engine in it. Um, so I then took the D15 out of my Civic hatch, put that into it. So I'd at least got some form of VTEC um, and then like I said, just sprayed it all up and made it mine. The interior, as I said when I got it, it was all standard inside. Um, somebody had kindly sprayed all the plastics black, <laughs> they sprayed the roof lining black, um, the sun visors black and the windows black because obviously they didn't take the parts out so obviously I stripped all that, got a new roof lining off of a good friend, spent hours getting the black paint off of the plastics because obviously I only had hatch plastics for the front and not the coupe. Cleaned all the carpets out, completely stripped it, um, took the red Recaro, the K9 Recaros out of my hatch, put them into it and then like I said put a short shifter in it, made sure the gear stick got my steering wheel from King Fabrications, put that on it and that's pretty much the interior. The engine it started, as I said, as my D15 out of my EK3 um, and it got to a point where I wanted more power. It was just not fun, well it was fun but not as fun as it could be and obviously I got a lot of friends with B16s, B18s. Um, I didn't want to go turbo route, everyone was telling me to turbo it and get a B18 and I'm like, I wanted the raw power of a B16 so obviously when isolation and Covid happened I was 
with my boyfriend and his friend and we were talking and I was like I want a B16 we had no intention of doing it two weeks later I had bought a B16 with the all skunk two cams everything um, it was pretty much brand new parts the kid had never like he'd started to build it but never run it so I got that shipped from Scotland and then in isolation that's how I spent my time building up a B16 with Skunk 2 parts. suspension was how uh, it all spiralled out of control into the um, <laughs> to put in the engine in and things because like I said we were down here with um, my boyfriend and his friend and he was building a turbo Civic and he walked off one minute he'd come back and told us he's bought some 600 pound coilovers and I'm like all right yeah mine needs some coilovers a week later I'd bought some HSD coilovers from Driftworks and like I said it made it handle brilliantly and then I got talking about the engine and it was like, well, what better time to do it now? So yeah, it's got HSD suspension on it. Um, it's got all camber arms, adjustable arms, all things like that. Um, Cause it's got wider wheels. So I've had to roll the arches. Um, it's got federal race tires on as well. So sort of semi-slip race tires. At the minute, I'm happy with how it is. Um, I'm just gonna get it mapped and um, get it rolling murdered so I can see the power that it can actually put out um, but other than that I'm thinking about a new steering wheel and potentially some yellow seat belts but other than that I'm happy with where it is. I've had the car um, since 2016 I believe um, so obviously it's taken five years six years to get to where it is however it only took me two months to paint it silver, get it back out on the road. Obviously I, I drove it then all the time and then took it back off of the road and it took us probably again two, three months to get it painted. Then took it back off the road and it took maybe a month, if that, to get the engine bay painted, done and engine in. It's 100% better. Like I said, I originally only wanted it to look tidy and be nice. The engine, was the next step and then to, for it to be in the condition it's, it's 100 percent sure condition and every opportunity i get i open that engine bay for somebody to look at it so hopefully when it's at shows this year and the following years it gets the attention it deserves and hopefully it wins some trophies from owning my ek3 i always wanted that car to be the car i've got today i absolutely loved that car and i miss it um but if i didn't my coupe wouldn't be what it is. As I said, it originally started silver and then I fell out of love with it. It was not. And I'd got a hankering for a yellow car and I needed to get it out of my system. So I thought, why not paint it? Y56 Phoenix yellow. It's the only coupe that is yellow. And I went for it and it was the best decision I made. And if I got a hatch and painted it yellow, it wouldn't stand out as much as that does because end of day, it's just like a Jordan so and my biggest achievement is getting it to where it is it's the dream car I'd always wanted I didn't want the skunk two bits I didn't want the cams but it was an offer I couldn't turn down and I'm happy with it and as I said with the engine bay that was also silver never painted it it looked a mess hated it and now it's matches the wheels got that iridescent color in there and like I said it's it's my dream car, it's what I'd always wanted and I've achieved it, so. Learning everything, because um, obviously I knew how to paint, I'd done all that before, I knew how to do the bodywork. The engine side of things, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know where to start. Um, my boyfriend, it did help me, but he left me and he said, 
you've got to take it out yourself and obviously if there was things I didn't know what to do I asked him and he'd, he'd show me but I did take it all out myself um, put it back in with him I'd learned so much there was so many tears and so many tantrums many times I really kicked off and said I don't want to do this but he pulled me back in and got me to where it is but other than that they, like I've trapped fingers I've cried I've had a temper tantrum, stormed off, gone home, come back and sorted it out. Now it's just my show car, it's my fun car. On a nice weekend I like to take it out. Um, it's not a fine weather driver, I do take it out in rain, it's just not my daily anymore. Like, It's not suitable for a daily with that engine, it's too vibrating, it's too loud, but it's good for fun and it brings you a smile. I haven't done any long drives with that one. Um, I haven't had much chance to drive it with the engine in, but as I, I did use to daily it um, when it was, before it was painted, you know, yellow and stuff. It was my daily. Um, I've been on like drives, countryside drives with good friends and things like that, out at Lake and stuff like that. And hopefully this year I'll be able to do it again. It is completely different to drive, like you. I've got an Audi as a daily and it's it's nice, it's comfortable, it's quiet, it's smooth. I get in that and it's it's loud, it's heavy, it's raw, but that is the fun of it. That is what it's there for. I don't get in it for comfort, I don't get in it for you know to daily it. It is a fun car and that's what it's there for. Doing the engine myself, um, building it up and learning every step of the way and being proud that yeah I know it, it might not be perfect it might not be body shop perfect things like that but knowing I've done all that work myself I haven't paid somebody else to do that I haven't you know I know everything that's gone into that car and all the work that's gone into it and I know every little last bit of it the top speed that I've done before it had the B16 in it was 110 I believe it was um, now it'll rev right through to 10,000 revs and it'll keep going um, I haven't reached its full potential yet because not gonna lie it does still scare me which I'm happy it does because obviously it means it's still fun and it means I still think about what I'm doing so hopefully when it's all been mapped and I know how fast what like what brake horsepower it can do then Hopefully I can take it out for more fun drives and realise its potential. It's not that hard to get hold of parts and things like that, it's just everything's now got scene tax on it. If it says it's an EK9 thing, it, it's cost you a fortune type thing, but most of the stuff that's on it, it was readily available um, because you can get it from other shape civics and things like that. People love it, they do. Um, as I said, I didn't build it for anybody else, I built it for me. If people don't like it, I'm not really bothered. But when people do like it, it is one of the best feelings in the world. When you see people looking at it, pointing at it, all little kids, and you think, hopefully one day I've inspired that little kid to go on and do what somebody inspired me to do. Because as a little kid, I used to look up to you know, all them max power saxos and things like that, and I'm now some Little, and especially when it's little girls that buzz off it and stuff because you've got to get women into the car scene and things like that because it's not enough so the people do love it and it, it definitely gets attention of people and I think it's more the colour as well for women in the car scene I do think it's quite hard um, a lot of people come up and think that your boyfriend's done all the work or you've paid somebody to do it and they are shocked when you say no I, I've done it um, to be honest I do get a lot of respect from people um, and but before in the car scene guys didn't like it you know what I mean it was just so oh, you've, you've painted some wheels you've got this you've got that it's in like I said they thought it was your boyfriend's car um, there needs to be more women do it and they need to not be as scared to do it and to put themselves out there to say that they've done it because when you do like I said you do get a lot of respect for it and I've gained a lot of friends through the car scene and in fact most all of my friends are all involved in cars which is 
amazing because then you can create amazing memories. I've got some of the best memories from going on drives and like I said, my best friends are all car people. When you're building your car, you're not on your own. You've got a lot of people, you might need parts and there's a big community you can ask on a, a, a car group and somebody will come to your aid and somebody will have that part. There was a part that I needed. It was the last piece of the puzzle to put in. Um, it was an engine mount and I'd got the wrong one. And I put a post out and somebody from Exclusive JDM met me at a show and brought me that last part and it meant that I could build my car. I was sobbing that morning but by the afternoon I'd got my car built and I was grateful for somebody having that part and being able to get it so readily through word of mouth um, and the car community is like I said some of the best people some of the best friends I've ever made some of the best memories that I've made and sometimes it's all you've got going on them drives when when everybody was in isolation and all you could do was you know basically sit in your car but you could still go out and see your friends and it it was amazing we weren't stuck in house you didn't feel alone you've got all them people around you